Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. It is June once again, so that means it is Computex time. And during Computex time, it's a time to see a whole bunch of new technology released. Uh, we've just seen uh, NVIDIA announce their GTX 780 and GTX 770 just last week. And the 770 a few days ago. But, uh, it is now Intel's turn to announce their next set of processors. This is their fourth generation Intel Core processors. That's called Hazel. Probably have uh, heard of it. The buzz has been going around for several years, several weeks now. And of course, uh, it uses a different processor, LJ 1150 compared to LJ 1155 Iberbridge. So that means new main boards. So for those who are looking for a main board that is in the mainstream price segment, but also targeted for gamers, then you might want to look at the Z87 G45 motherboard you see here. Uh, we've reviewed the Z77 before. Wade has reviewed it, uh, but several months ago, I was very impressed with it, especially as a as a gaming main board that is a perfect balance of price and performance and sort of, of course gaming features that is also mainstream price so it'll, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how well the z87 version fares to that one so i'm going to dig in now and see how well uh, this may performs but first i'm going to open up the box and show you what you can find inside each package and here we have the z87 g45 gaming main board packaging and it looks very familiar just in terms of uh, it uh, the cover because it looks a lot like the Z77 G45 main board but the difference of course is the 87 part where it has uh, the uh, different LG1150 socket processor also notice there were some improvements uh, with the main board itself just a quick shot here cool looking main board and I put that aside take a look at the accessories bundle with it in the bottom compartment we find a this is just a standard quick installation guide come in handy if you're a beginner this is multilingual you have the more detailed gaming users guide it's an all english users guide and i'm assuming it is localized depending on where you buy it i guess if you have in, in the if you are in the apac region you get an asian language one and uh it's pretty much that aside you have the gaming board specific uh, door notification here, no, no fire you can put in if your uh, so your mom doesn't bug you. Or uh, you have uh, this IO shield here that is color coded with a rather uh, uh, labeled and mat color matched with the MSI gaming series with the red color. A bit hard to read the red color there, uh, but if you're concerned with the keeping with the theme, it does its job. You have the MSI gaming series badge. You can stick that on your case. A very cool badge. See how how uh, durable that is. Not, it's not a standard plastic badge. A little bit of metal in there. You have, of course, the essential driver disc and utilities. Contains the drivers you need to get going, especially the LAN drivers, and also your uh, software. The MSI command center you can use. Also, this is the SATA cable you need to attach for your. Uh, drive this are angled SATA cables that are latching as well you have a pair of them so that's pretty much it I'm going to put back accessories here and I am going to take a much closer look at the main board all right here we have the MSI G45 gaming main board completely out of the packaging and it actually has a standard ATX form factor of 12 by 9.6 and if you notice that the layout is similar to the Z77 G45, similar heatsink design as well, which uh, I don't blame them because it looks very, very cool. If you notice, the Dragon theme is also picked up here on the um, VRM cooling. See the profile of the Dragon there? I didn't notice that when I was looking at it from the top view, but in this way, it is functional and it has that airflow channel. And it also is sort of angled upward so the airflow will be pushed outward and cool the VRM underneath. And it also looks cool. So that's bonus points for MSI for that. And uh, you have eight phase, an 8-phase eight VRM here with the um, SFC chokes that the MSI used, used also on their high-end uh, M-Power board. You have 8-pin EPS 12-volt connector. You have your CPU fan here and here for two of them. You have CPU fan 1, CPU fan 2. Of course, most users who have a push-pull configuration will find that useful. Two separate channels, so you don't have to split it. You have, of course, the LG 1150 socket. Let me just open that up for you so you can see. 
the pins are 11, 1150 pins, but the mounting hole is the same as the LG1155 and LG1156, so you can reuse those older heat sinks if you have them. It is just that the pin number is different and the processor is different. You can't use those LG1155 and LG1156 CPUs on the LG1155 socket. Now, as for the DRAM here, this is the T topology support for. Uh, of course, that's, that's very useful for users who have a fully populated DIMM slot. And you have also the 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 the, the the DIMM slots support up to 3000 MHz of DDR3, uh, of course, OC'd. And uh, I don't know if they have 3000 MHz modules not available for XMP, but they might have soon. I have 2666 MHz modules. I know those are available, and they even have 2800, but 3000 will probably come soon. Uh, you also have uh, voltage checkpoints here at the edge. Uh, they don't have the housing that comes with it uh, with, the G, with the G65 version. GD65 version, but it still is useful. Uh, you can still connect your points there with uh, your uh, multimeter. You have your 24 pin CPU connector. You have your first system fan here, system fan 3 actually, but uh, three system fan headers. Four pin PWM as well. So full control in, through the UFI or through the command center. And here underneath is, of course, the Intel PCH chipset. And powering uh, by, powered by that is the USB 3.0 port right there. Uh, it's a 19 pin USB 3.0 port and uh, it's angled also because it is directly on the path of the PCIe X16 slot. Just in case you put in a very long video card it might get obscured so they angle it for convenience. Also full 6 Intel uh, SATA 6 G ports via the uh, PCH chipset and it notes that it says here that the SATA port 6 will be disabled when MSATA slot is in use. That you see here. I uh, can use the uh, Super RAID function that MSI has for caching. Or you can just use it as a regular storage. And shows you the which of that is SATA 6, which is the one on top here, will be disabled. So you can still use five more, even if you use that. And also you have the uh, USB headers here. One, two, three USB 2.1 headers. So that's a total of six USB 2.0 outputs, uh, whether in your case or in the rear. Yeah, your front panel connectors, they are labeled at the bottom. And as with the other MSI designs, uh, design main boards, you have a pair of front panel connectors. One is for the buzzer and for the um, advanced sort of LED option. And the other one has the standard hard drive LED, power LED, power switch, and reset switch. And let's see, let's take a look at the PCIe X16 slot distribution here. You have, uh, you can see that, and we just switches for the PCIe X16 here for the PCIe 3.0. You have one, two, three, four PCIe X1 slots, and also you have a pair of PCIe X16 slots separated by two PCIe X1 slots. That means you have triple. You can use triple uh, slot video cards and still put in a second one here for SLI. Now, unfortunately, you cannot SLI more than uh, two cards when the fourth slot is an X4. So this, uh, but you can still. I, I believe Crossfire is supported with uh, X4, so you can run 8x, 8x, X, uh, X4. Or a 8x x4 x4 when you run a triple crossfire x, but you can uh, also use uh, SLI in x8 x8 mode or a full x16 with just the one on top. Also, let's take a look at here at the bottom. You have uh, the audio boost functionality, of course. The audio boost functionality uh, underneath that is an, LG, uh, it's an ALC 1150 codec from Realtek, and also you have, uh, of course, uh, you, you, there's some software that you can install, uh, some Blaster Cinema. Uh, through the utilities function, and you can take advantage of the features uh, with this, with the um, embedded audio uh, solution of the G45 gaming mainboard. Also, I didn't notice that, but there is a system fan here here for the rear fan. So that's one, two, and three system fans in total, and a pair of uh, CPU fans, uh, CPU fan headers. They're all four-pin PWM. You can you can control by the UFI or the MSI command center. Uh, you have here at the back, uh, of course, the start with the audio solution. They're all gold plated. If you look closely, they have uh, gold plate connections to preserve the high quality audio. It also has front panel. Uh, underneath that, you have uh, essentially op amp for, uh, rather, uh, amplifiers for the headphones. And let's pull that cover out. See the Output display options here. You have HDMI, which is the default. 
you want to plug into that when you first boot you have also VJ option and a DVI option and also the red slot here is of course the killer E2205 I believe 2205 uh, the same as the G45 G77 and the G65 essentially a uh, killer network RJ45 port and using conjunction with their software which is very uh, very handy for managing your network traffic to optimize your gaming and you have your optical audio and, uh, the, and the analog audio output coaxial audio output you have the CMOS reset button and lastly you have a pair USB 2.0 as well as a uh, PS2 port for legacy users and uh, that's, I think I, oh, I forgot to mention the USB 3.0 ports. Of course, uh, two in the front via the header and two more in the rear. So that's a standard six USB 3.0 header via the Intel PCH chipset. And uh, that pretty much covers the overview here of the MSI G45 gaming mainboard. It's a mainstream gaming mainboard that uh, pretty much, uh, well, we were happy with the Z77 performance. So we will check out how well it performs with the new platform under Windows 8 and then uh, we'll check back you can click on the link below to see the benchmarks and also click on the link below to see the other review I did with the uh, Z87 M Power Max mainboard essentially a high-end overclocking mainboard from MSI